Um, changing a little bit of subject, as I have been interested in racing somewhat. So, um, one thing I've been watching is one of the probably one of the faster four wheel race uh, motorsports out there, Formula One. So, particularly, it's interesting because it appeals mainly to three areas. Um, the complexity involved in the racing, the time margin, it's a very tight race, and the, the driver's abilities, it requires a lot of them. Uh, for example, this year they're doing 17 unique tracks. It includes 10 teams and 20 racers. That is from the Formula One website. A uh, really dynamic uh, racing event and, and attracts an audience. So starting out with track complexity, uh, it's not it's not an oval as like NASCAR or some of the other racing set racings uh, races are. We deal with with very track designs, so tight curves, long straightaways, all of that. Um, and according to one of the, the Formula One dictionary, they were pulling on average a curve on curves are pulling three to six G's in the vehicles. So we're not, it's not a go kart racing. Um, the part of that complexity comes, or a consequence of the complexity, ends up being the driver's safety and, and his ability. Ability to, to navigate the track and safety requirements for his car and others because if they're going everywhere, tight curves and everything, if somebody misses, they're gonna, they're gonna be a little bit of a consequence and they do a lot of barriers on those. Um, so margin of time, for example, this last last race now here, uh, the 27th of September, it is a 53 lap race. Uh, and first and second, the difference in time between the first and first place and second place was 7.7 .7 seconds. Divide that out, that's way less than a half a second per lap. Difference between those two, they're very tight. Um, and not all, and so, so these, it's not only a, it's not in a, a straight endurance track where they never stop. They do have pit stops. They're not allowed to fuel up though, um, but they can change tires and maybe some like some front fins if they get broken. Those pit stops are on average like between 30 seconds. They were changing the fastest one this last race was 29 seconds. The longest was like 45. Very tight. They keep those margins in tight. Um, on the driver talent side, they're not, they have to control the speed, the gearing, all their clutch is all manually by the driver. They're not, it's not special automation. They have to do it. It requires a lot more of them, and it, design, and it changes the way that the race can happen. They can't just have it all automated and the driver just push a button and go. You gotta keep on it so you're not breaking loose your tires and losing, losing uh, energy. Um, also, that back to the complexity of the track, the talent of the driver is required. They have to be able to maneuver those that track and keep their time down. Uh, in summary, Formula One I think shows off some of the greatest strengths of engineering. They have to keep, they have to deal with that track complexity. They have to keep their driver safe. They have to get the time down as tight as possible, and all of it ends up in the driver's hands as he's driving away in that in that vehicle. It is a multi-million dollar thing, but. Pretty cool to watch.